Hi everyone, uh, my name is Debbie Berevices and I'm really fascinated by the poster project that Pam has been doing for the past few years because I'll, as I'll tell you with my personal story, I think it's super important to give an image to the world that science can be a wonderful place for women and there's a variety of different women that can do science in many different ways. I personally, I grew up in Mexico City in a very conservative Latin American culture where I was expected to not study a subject that was too hard because then no boy would ever marry me if I did that. And I was encouraged to get married very early and so a science career was pretty much out of the question. I think I confessed to my parents when I was 14 years old that I was very interested in mathematics and I remember my my mom saying something like, okay, but just don't tell anyone that you're interested in it. And mm -hmm. um, so I think I kind of kept it in hiding and I was always so passionate about reading the history of, of scientists. And I remember even crying in the basement of my house where I, where I was reading books by Archimedes or Tycho Brahe or Newton. And it was just so fascinating. And I, I, I devoured those books, but I never had the courage to say I want to study physics or I want to study mathematics. So life went on and I also, because I was a, a, a deep thinker and I, I, I loved learning about how the world works, I uh, eventually gravitated towards philosophy. But, and really at the time I thought that physics and philosophy, they were both very similar. They were just ways of learning how the world around us works and why things happen the way they do. So my parents agreed to let me study philosophy at the university, but I, I kept being extremely curious about science. And so eventually um, I applied to an American school where I could study both, because in Mexico you can only study one subject uh, for four years. So I got accepted uh, into Brandeis University in Massachusetts, and that completely changed my life because I got there and I saw that there were lots of other women studying science, and it still wasn't perfect. Uh, of course, there were a lot less women than men, but it, it was encouraged and I, I got respected and, and I was able to do it. But I still had the, the challenge that I knew very little math because I was studying philosophy and I had lost touch with algebra and the most basic equations. So one time I was hanging out with a teaching assistant uh, of my astronomy course. This is a man uh, named Rupesh from India, from Darjeeling. And we were walking in Harvard Square and we just sat down. I was still in philosophy and uh, we sat down and I just started crying. And I said, Rupesh, I really want to study physics. I just don't want to die without trying. So he made a phone call. Within a few hours, I had the head of the department call me and have a meeting with me, and he said, look, if by the end of the summer you know this book, then we'll talk about letting you study physics. And the book was named Div, Grad, and Curl. And it was an extremely complicated book for me at the time without any background. And so Rupesh um, decided to, to study with me and mentor me for the whole summer, every day. And I always wanted to pay him for his tutoring and all that, and he always said, no, uh, there's no way to pay me back except, and he told me this incredible uh, story that he used to live in the mountains in Darjeeling in India and there was this uh, professor that used to climb, an older man climbed the mountains to teach him mathematics and the, the tabla, this musical instrument. And he said, uh, they, the family always wanted to pay this, this uh, teacher for his tutoring and the, the teacher said the only way you can pay me back is by doing this with someone else in the world. So like, like that story, I became Rupesh's project and he did that with me and then he said to me the same thing, the only way you could ever pay me back is by teaching to the world how to be a scientist. Mm -hmm. So I continued with that, I graduated from Brandeis still with both uh, physics and philosophy majors. I continued on to, to finish my PhD in physics at Stanford University. And after that, I, I came to New York and I did two postdoctoral fellowships in applied mathematics slash physics, both at Columbia University and at the Courant Institute at NYU. And because of that story, now my mission is to uh, produce a TV show, which is what I'm trying to do in collaboration with Pam and her beautiful pictures and, and interviews of women. 
that actually encourages young women to learn and participate more in science and technology. And I want to reach everyone. The program is both in Spanish and English. And in my outreach uh, experiences at Latino uh, schools in both Harlem, here, and in California, I realized that, especially in those underserved communities, there were, there were young women who had never even seen a scientist, let alone a woman. And right now, I have a couple of girls that have finished high school and have sent me letters saying that because I took them to the labs at Stanford and I showed them how fun it is and the lasers and how you can play with computers, now they're going to go and, and pursue careers. They're going to college, first of all, and they're going to pursue careers in science. So if I could touch more women like that, then I will have accomplished my mission.